Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to Rich Textures Crochet on YouTube. Let's crochet something beautiful today. Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the winter frost headband. And that is this headband that you see here. Sometimes they're called ear warmers. Uh, but you can see that it features these spike stitches uh, in what's called an eyelash pattern. So it creates a very attractive design. Um, the stitch, once you get the hang of it, is uh, really quite simple. They're just uh, single crochet stitches worked over top of uh, two to three or uh, so rows of stitches below them. So I will demonstrate that stitch for you today in this video. This headband is double thick, so it's two pieces that are worked separately and then crocheted together at the end. Of course, you may choose to work this headband as one piece if you'd like something that's a little bit lighter weight. So for our project today, you're going to need one copy of the written crochet pattern, which can be found for free on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. I will have the direct link for you there in the notes for this video. You will also need some worsted weight yarn, your favorite uh, colors. You will need two colors of them. And uh, you will need one ball each, so about 170 yards, 150 yards uh, of each color. You will also need a uh, six millimeter crochet hook and a pair of scissors and a yarn needle for weaving in your ends. Thank you so much again for joining me and please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel which I like to update weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. Okay, so today for our headband, we are going to be starting with the front of that headband. So that was the uh, one with the two colors in it and all those beautiful spike stitches. So what you're going to be do uh, to begin is take your color A, which I have chosen my dusty purple for, and you're going to start by making a slip knot. You will then chain 66 stitches. And then without twisting your chain, you are going to join with a slip stitch in the first chain. Okay, so go ahead there and work 66 chains. Once you have your 66 chains, you are going to join there with a slip knot. If you're having trouble keeping your chain from twisting, uh, be sure to check out uh, the other videos on my channel here, and uh, you will find a video there on how to join your foundation chain without twisting. Okay. So once you have joined with a slip stitch in that first chain, you will now have a loop, a ring. You are going to chain one and you're going to single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And you are going to do this for a total of four rounds. So rounds one to four, you will single crochet in each stitch all the way around. When you come back to your first stitch, you are going to join with a slip stitch and then you will not turn your work, you're just going to keep on working chain one and single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So do that for a total of four rounds. At the end of round four, you are going to switch over to your color B. Okay, so now I have worked uh, rounds one through to four, single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And now at the end of round four, I'm going to want to switch to my color B. To do that, uh, I am going to work my final stitch in round four, but I'm not going to complete the stitch. So I'm going to insert my hook, yarn over and pull through, and then I'm going to drop my color A. I will then pick up my color B, I'm going to place it on my hook, and then I'm going to complete my single crochet using that new color. So using the new color B. I'll then just pull my uh, P 
pieces of yarn a little bit tighter there. And now you will see that your color B is all set to go. So now I'm just going to join with a slip stitch in the first stitch using my color B. Chain one and I'm ready for round five. Now round five we are going to start working our post or our spike stitches. The first thing you're going to do is with your color B you're going to single crochet in the first stitch and then you're going to work your first spike stitch. You are going to be asked to single crochet in the next stitch, inserting your hook one row below and drawing up your loop to the height of your SC. So if you take a look at your work, normally when you worked a stitch, you worked in these uh, under the top two loops there. You just worked in the top of the stitch. For your spike stitches, you're actually going to go down however many rows I've specified in the pattern. So for the first stitch, you're going to insert your hook one row below. So under, at the base of the post of your next single crochet, you will see a little hole there. You can kind of pull it apart and that's where you're going to insert your hook. So count the full row down, insert your hook under that stitch, yarn over and pull through and pull up your loop to the height of your single crochet. You're then going to yarn over, pull through and complete the stitch. And what you can, you can see that that has elongated the post of that next single crochet. For the next stitch, you're going to single crochet by inserting your hook two rows below. So this is my next stitch. This is one row below and then, then count one more row down and I have my second row. So I'm going to insert my hook two rows down, yarn over, pull through, pull my yarn up to the height of my single crochet stitch, yarn over and pull through. And again you can see the post has gotten a little bit longer. For the next stitch, you're going to insert your hook three rows below. So here's your next stitch, one row, two rows, three rows, insert your hook, yarn over, drop your loop to the height of your single crochet, yarn over and pull through to complete the stitch. So you've now worked three spike stitches, each getting increasingly longer. We're now going to start our decrease spike stitches. So in the next stitch, you're going to single crochet by inserting your hook two rows below. In the next stitch, single crochet by inserting your hook one row below. And in your next stitch, you're simply going to work a single crochet in the top of your stitch where you normally would. So when you pull back, you will see this design here, this little bit of an eyelash design. And now for the rest of the way around your headband, you're simply going to repeat that. Now I've already done my single crochet in the top of the stitch, so in my next stitch, I'm going to insert my hook one row below and work a single crochet, then two rows below and work a single crochet, and three rows below and work a single crochet. Start my decrease, two rows below, one row below, and then just in the top of my single crochet stitch. So continue to repeat that all the way around. When you come back to your first single crochet stitch, you're going to join with a slip stitch. Okay, I'm now just working my final spike stitch one row below in my round five and then I'm going to join with a slip stitch to complete the round. I will then chain one. Now for the next three rounds, for rounds six to eight, you are going to once again single crochet in each stitch all the way around. When you come back to your first stitch, you're going to join in the top with a slip stitch. Do not turn your work, but chain one 
and continue uh, with the next round. So you're going to single crochet a total of three more rounds, six, seven, and eight. And at the end of round eight, you are going to switch back to your color A. So work those three rounds of single crochets and meet me back here. So now I'm at the end of round eight. And for round nine, again, I wanna switch back to my color A. So I'm going to, uh, in my final stitch, I'm going to begin working that stitch. I'm going to uh, pull up my loop, but then I'm going to drop my color B, pick up my color A, and place it on my hook and complete the stitch. I'll then join with a slip stitch in the first stitch and I'm all set to go with round nine with my color A. We are now going to start making some more of those spike uh, stitches now with our color A. So you're going to chain one. This time around, when you uh, work your first stitch, you're going to single crochet in the next stitch by inserting your hook three rows below. So you're going to start with this longer, longer one. So you have your first row, your second row, and then your third row. Now, one uh, trick that I sort of use for working with these stitches is you always know, now that you have this the first round of spike stitches done, for uh, this round, afterward, your longest spike stitch is always going to be, uh, if you're right-handed, to the right of your smallest spike stitch on your previous row or round. So you're going to insert your hook three rows below. It's just to the right of that smallest single crochet stitch. Drop your loop to the height of your single crochet stitch and pull through. Now we are going to work uh, our decrease. So in your next stitch, you're going to insert your hook two rows below, complete your stitch, then one row below, and then your next single crochet will be in the top of the next stitch. So now you have worked three decreasing spike stitches. We're going to start our increase again. We've already worked our smallest stitch there, the single crochet. So your next stitch is going to be worked one row below. And, and the next stitch is two rows below. Your next stitch is three rows below. And then work your decrease. Two rows below. One row below. And then in the top of the next stitch. So you're going to repeat that pattern once again all the way around to your first stitch, your first spike stitch there. You're going to join with a slip stitch in the top of that stitch and chain one and you'll be all set for round 10. After working my final spike stitch there in round nine, you're just going to join with a slip stitch in the top and then chain one. Do not turn your work. Now, for again, once again, for the next three rounds, we are simply going to single crochet in the next in each stitch all the way around when you come back to that first stitch you're going to join with a slip stitch and uh, at that point so at the end of uh, round 12 you are going to fasten off your work and set that uh, front part of your headband aside if you were going to work on the back Okay, so for the next three rounds, rounds 10 to 12, you're going to single crochet in each stitch all the way around. When you come back to the beginning, you're going to join with a slip stitch in the first stitch and, uh, and then continue on. At the end of round 12, fasten off and set this piece aside and uh, get ready to work the back. So at the end of round 12, your headband is going to look like this. You will have joined uh, in that first stitch with a slip stitch, and then you can go ahead and fasten off, and then you can weave in your ends. You're then going to, if you're going to work both sides of the headband to make it double thick, you're going to set this piece aside. Next, for mine, it's up to you which color you choose. I chose to work with my color B. And we're going to now work uh, the back of our headband. With color B, we're going to start by making our slip knot. 
and we are going to chain a total of 66 chains. At the end of your 66 chains, you will join with a slip stitch in that first stitch, being careful not to twist your chain. Once you have 66 chains on your hook, join with a slip stitch in that first stitch. Now what you're going to do uh, for rounds 1 through to 10, you're going to chain 1 and you're simply going to single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So you're going to do that for a total of 10 rounds. When you come to that first stitch, you're going to join with a slip stitch in the top of the stitch. Do not turn your work, but proceed to the next round. So work a total of 10 rounds of single crochet stitches. Once you have completed that, you can fasten off your work and I will show you how to join the two pieces together. Okay, so now I have uh, worked 10 rounds of single crochets for my back of my headband and this is what you're going to have right here. So now I want to join my front and my back together. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my back inside out and I'm going to place it inside the front of my headband. The front of my headband will still be right facing. So you want to have both of your wrong sides together just like so. Now you will probably have tucked in all your ends. I am going to be cheating a little bit and just kind of tucking them in as I go into the inside of my headband. Okay, then what you're going to do is you're going to decide which color you would like to use for your edging. I will be using my color B. And you're going to want to join that with a slip stitch to any stitch. And what you're going to do is you're going to insert your hook and you want to work through both thicknesses. So insert your hook uh, through the first stitch of the front and into a stitch there on the back that's kind of across from it. Then you're going to want to join your yarn with a slip stitch. Continue working through both of those thicknesses. And now you are simply going to work one round of single crochet stitches all the way around working through both thicknesses again. So start with your first stitch in where you joined with that slip stitch. My hook is getting caught there, probably on one of the tails that I should have woven in. So just join with, a sl with uh, your slip stitch, single crochet in that first stitch, there we go. And now working through both thicknesses, single crochet in each stitch all the way around. Now you are going to want to make sure that you do not miss any stitches uh, on either of the sides. Uh, so pay attention to where you're inserting your hook otherwise you will have a headband that ends up bunching and you don't want to do that. So working through both thicknesses, single crochet in each stitch all the way around. When you come back to that first stitch you're going to join in the top of the stitch with a slip stitch. At the end of round one of your edging, you're going to join with a slip stitch. And then you are going to work one more round of single crochet stitches. So chain one and single crochet in each stitch all the way around. Once you come back to your first stitch, you are going to join with a slip stitch in that stitch, and then you can fasten off and weave in your ends. And that's all there is uh, to working this, this headband. What you're going to do next is you're going to um, go down and you're going to repeat that for your bottom side there, for your bottom round. Repeat those two rounds of single crochet stitches, and, uh, and then you're all set you can enjoy your winter frost headband. Thank you so much for joining me once again. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and check back soon. And uh, until then, happy crocheting. Bye.